Hi students, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. In this tutorial, we'll see we'll write a Java program to reverse a string in Java. There are different ways to reverse a string in Java. Among those, we'll see one example how to write a string or how to reverse a string. So the step one is take a string as input from console. In the step one, take a string as input from console. So assume that I am taking a string called Sandeep from input. Okay. And what I need to do in the step two is take an empty string and name it as empty. Or uh, instead of empty, we'll name it as reverse. Okay. Take a one more string and uh, name it as reverse. Okay. Now what I am doing is I am taking a variable called reverse string okay and i am initializing it to the empty this is what it was uh, said in the step two okay what i need to do i need to take a variable called reverse string and initialize it to empty and in step three what i need to do extract each character from original string from last to first and add it to the empty string okay extract each character from original string from last to first and add it to the empty string so what is the original string which was which we need to find reverse this is the original string what is the name sandeep now i want to reverse this sandeep okay so what i need to do is i need to extract each character from this okay i need to extract each character so initially what i'll do i'll extract character p and then i will add it to what empty string okay so at the first step reverse string will be reverse string reverse string equal to in the first iteration what i'll do i'll extract the first character last character that is p okay so now what is the value of reverse string reverse string will be p okay and now what i'll do is reverse string equal to reverse string plus p what does this mean is so now i'll take the second character okay e and then i'll add it to the this reverse string so in the second step what it happens reverse string will be e plus p okay e plus p so first will be p and then i'll be adding the next character okay similarly i'll extract first i'll extract p and i'll add it to the reverse string next i'll extract e and then i will add it to the reverse string so first uh, it will be p and then it will become p e and in the third iteration it will become p double e and in the fourth iteration it will become p e e d and in the fifth iteration it will become p e e d n and in the sixth iteration it will become p e e d n a and in the seventh iteration, it will become P E E D N A S. Okay, this is how the logic works. Now, according to these steps, what I will do is we'll write a program to reverse a string. Okay. So first, I'm creating a class called reverse demo. Okay. Now I am writing a main method. And in this method, what I'll do is I'll take two strings. Okay. One is original, original string, and the other one is reverse string. And then I'll initialize it to empty. I'll initialize the original string and reverse string to empty. Now and what I'll do is, so for any given string, we need to find out reverse of a string. For any given string, I need to find out the reverse. So now what I'll do is, I'll write a scanner statement. What this scanner statement does is, it will take the input from the console. New scanner of system.in and since it is string what i'll do is i'll 
sc dot next line which will give you a string sc dot next line will give you a string that string i will initialize it to original string original string equal to sc dot next line original string equal to sc dot next line okay now what i'll do is i'll take each character for i'm writing first for loop and original dot original string dot length minus one i greater than equal to zero i minus minus what i'm doing is i'm taking the length of the original string minus one and from there i'm iterating through each and every character okay so suppose if the length of the character suppose if the string is sandeep so sandeep length is seven okay since the since it is a string the index starts from zero to six total is seven characters from zero to six the index will start so what we'll do is so we'll take original dot string dot length minus one okay for original string dot length minus one for int i equal to original string dot length minus one i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus what i'll be doing is since the reverse what is the reverse string here reverse string is empty here i am adding reverse equal to reverse plus i reverse is reverse equal to reverse plus i and finally what i'll do is i'll print the reverse string reverse equal to reverse string plus original string dot caret i i'll explain you this function what is this caret function what this caret function is this caret function will return a particular character in a string okay suppose if i pass one it will return the first character in the original string if i pass two it will return second character from this original string okay now i am printing reverse string okay so i'll explain you the code what it was written by taking an example now i'm running the program so here i'll write one statement system dot out dot println please enter the string to be reversed okay now i'll run the program so now i got this first statement when i run this statement first uh, when i run this program what will happen it will execute line by line from the main method so it will initialize original string and reverse string to empty now what it happens it will ask us for prompt us for enter a string now what i'll do i'll enter a string I am entering a string Sandeep. Now it gave me the reverse string P E E D N A S. Okay, I'll explain you by taking debug uh, debug point here. So for the first iteration, for uh, I'll explain you for two three iterations. Similarly, it happens for the remaining iterations. So for first iterations, original string will be empty, reverse string will be empty. Okay. So now I got the statement. Now I am doing. I'm, I have entered the statement. This Sandeep. So when I call one second. Uh, 
function f6 i'm not getting the debug in my application sorry okay now the debug statement came if you see the original string i have entered as sandeep okay so now for original string dot length so what is the length of sandeep here it is seven characters okay so if you see here so now i'm running the next statement so when you see original string dot length minus one initially i will be how much six why because totally it has seven characters but string index starts from zero so that is the reason i'm taking original string dot length minus one so now i will extract the character at 6 so what is the 6 character p now i am adding this p to this reverse string okay now what will happen is if you observe the reverse string we will have p now now what will be the original string dot length minus 1 initially it was 6 now 6 minus 1 it will be 5 okay 6 minus 1 will be 5 now if you observe it is 5 so what is the character at the fifth position e okay and uh, if you see here it will show you what is the character at e okay fifth character is e now i'm extracting this e and adding it to the reverse string so now it will become p e it will become p e correct now i will be incremented to how much initially it was six and then five now it will be four so what is the character at the four e again let's see whether we are getting the same character or not so what is the value at four original string dot care at fourth again e now if you see I am adding, extracting this E and adding it to the reverse thing. Now it will be P E E. P E E. So similar the loop continues till the first character in this string and it will be added to the reverse thing. Finally, we are printing this reverse thing. Okay. Hope you guys understand this video how to reverse a string. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, subscribe to my videos for more Java interview questions.